Also, if you're trying to do data input for a, lar a long, longer term type of project, the sample company becomes a problem because when you log out of the sample company and log back into it, it will erase all the changes that you made. So if you have a short practice problem that you want to figure something out on, this is a great tool to do it with because you could go in here and you can and you can test things out. But if it's a long problem and you're going to have to do half of it, shut down the system and then come back into it at a later point in time, then this this file becomes more of a problem because you can't do that. <laughs> you can't you can't go back out and go back into it. So you have to do the whole practice problem that you're working on in one setting if that's the strategy uh, that you're looking to take as opposed to if you wanted to do a, a longer type of problem you could do the fr you could try to set up a company file to basically practice with right and then you can get possibly a sandbox that doesn't have any of this information in it already so you can test out uh, whatever you're trying to trying to test out possibly setting up a new company file or if you're working a practice problem and you just want to have it as clean as possible with no other data in the system so that it's really easy to see then the free 30-day trial uh, period will work so any kind of problem that you're working on you want to think how long is the problem that i'm going to work on and, and therefore can i do it in one setting one sitting in which case you might use the the sample file the test drive or if it takes longer than that, uh, maybe then maybe you need some other option, possibly like a 30 day trial period or something like that. So you can get more in depth. Now, the second option, usually I would go to the Intuit website here, which is intuit.com and then go to the uh, QuickBooks. This is how I would typically go there. You could search for QuickBooks, but QuickBooks sales pages sometimes kind of funnel you around in funny ways, right? So I like going directly to the Intuit website and then going to the QuickBooks website and then QuickBooks will usually be advertising the online on their major sales page here, but it looks a little bit different. You can see they don't have that like free, the 30 day trial option on this page for some reason. But if you go all the way down to the bottom, that for some time, for years, they've had all of their products listed at the bottom. And so if you go to that page, and then go to QuickBooks Online, then uh, they have a slightly different sales page. And now you see this toggling option up here for the free trial for 30 days. Now, obviously the restrictions, the bad things about the free 30 day trial is that now you've got to deal with an, another company file or something if you're gonna, if you're gonna set it up. Uh, they might ask for your credit card information for the 30 day trial. So if you're if you don't want to continue after the 30 day trial, you need to make sure that you that you cancel it, you know, before that time. Obviously, you only have 30 days in order to practice if you're going to do a free a 30 day trial to test out what is happening here. And they give you these scare options as well, because if I toggle this over to the free 30 day trial, they double the amounts down here. So you'll so, so you see the the plus option you know, is double. So you don't really, you don't, obviously you don't want to pay $85 a month when you can pay $42 a month. What we would like to do, and from Intuit's perspective, you would think what they're planning on happening is you're trying to put your personal data, your business data into QuickBooks, testing it out for 30 days. And then after that point in time, they, they will have, have you locked in, right? Because now you're using QuickBooks and it would be quite difficult to change uh, after that point in time. So if you're using the 30-day the test period, what you really want to do is be testing if if you want to be using QuickBooks or if it's doing what, what, what you think it should be doing or how easy the setup process is going to be. And then and then after the 30 days or before the 30 days is up, then, then you might want to look into the options of purchasing the software at that time, possibly talking to like a QuickBooks dealer uh, of some kind or setting up another, you know, company file and putting in the options related to to it at that point in time. That's the that's the general idea. So we're going into it saying I'm going to plan on setting up the company file just to practice with and I'm not going to try to 
lock myself in because of this switching of the price. That those are the those are the options. Those are the pros and cons of the options. So what we're going to do next time is we're going to we're going to set up a free 30 day trial. That's the option that that uh, we're going to be using here. And uh, but if you want, if you think you can do, you know, the whole practice problem or parts of the practice problem uh, using the sandbox here, the sample company file that's free that you can do in one sitting, then you can you can use that option if you so choose as well. Those are the options to be practicing with.